My name is Sheldon Adlukin from Airline First Nation. I'm a volunteer for our Airline Youth Blueberry Initiative. We've been running this program for like eight, nine years or so, maybe even a decade. This is an example of why Airline is known for their blueberries. As you can see, they're everywhere here. Every year they do their blueberry drive. They, everybody goes out picking and then they start buying them. Uh, like Sheldon and Luke and them, they usually have a few volunteers every year that help them transport the blueberries to Thunder Bay where you have buyers leave. Well, there's 100 baskets. And with the money that they make from the blueberries, they put it back towards youth programs. Like the CLE trip that they had there last week, everything is there in one place so that the kids can have a good day out. And then during the winter times, they do uh, ski trips. So the youth go out and they go out snowboarding, skiing, or just tubing down the hill, which uh, all comes from the blueberry money. Picking berries, they say you're out there all day enjoying the breeze, enjoying it. A lot of people make their own lunches or they go out there and cook and so they go pick all morning, go out, have a little campfire cookout and then go back and pick and gets them back on the land and gets them back to their heritage. All ages of pickers, young and old, like some of the handicapped people, they'll just sit in a vehicle and some of the people will break the branches. Or like this, take a couple of them and take them to their vehicles and get their spouses to pick too, because some of them are in wheelchairs and they can't make it in a bush, so they still pick. I see them picking. Every dollar counts in this, in this tight world here, especially when you don't have any grocery stores nearby. Like it costs about $100 just to get to Geraldton as our nearest grocery store. You very often. <laughs> when we buy berries off the people, we set a time when we're going to meet with them. <laughs> and we just buy the berries off of them, inspect them a little bit, make sure they're clean, thick. Woohoo! Taste <laughs> test. You're good. And after that, we load them up to a van and out to the market and out to the world. More and more, food connects people who want to make their communities better places to live. Their work creates an economic value, but as you can see, these community leaders are more interested in environmental and social well-being. The Social Economy of Food video series shows what that looks like on the ground and how these leaders are changing their communities. <laughs>